just picked up some uh, rosemary garlic naan and chicken coconut curry from a place called Durbar. Uh, eating some Nepalese food today. Um, and you know, maybe it's because I think highly of myself. You know, I think that I'm worth the effort to drive all the way out here and try some different restaurants non. You know, um, but this is a response to a video by Robert Wallace called Ramble Turning. It's not a mean spirited response uh, at all, but uh, I do want to talk about. Uh, hubris and uh, maybe you know a little bit of arrogance and narcissism and whatnot in that uh, when we're thinking about why we have certain videos that uh, get banned from different platforms or uh, in my case different videos that perform well on one platform and not the other and by well I mean the difference of under a hundred views to thousands of views um, if you regularly get less than a hundred views on your video you're a regular Joe Schmo schmuck just like me you know and really when when you're thinking about there might be some sort of uh, conspiracy that uh, certain subjects, when you're talking about them, that uh, they need to be suppressed because you might, you know, be getting the, the the message out about that subject. If you're not reaching more than 100 people, might not be it. Might just be that uh, the topic itself is is the uh, sensitive thing, not so much your voice, right? Even if you are repeatedly uh, banned and, and whatnot. And this this goes for my buddy Ryan, uh, Lucky Dog 1351, uh, Fenris 13, I think. Um, he's got a, diff a couple few uh, channel names now because, you know, the ban hammer. It, it's, uh, sometimes it's, it's little subtle things that, that we're not picking up on that really don't have much to do with a personal touch. Like, nobody's personally looking at your videos and saying, hey, this flies and this doesn't. Uh, and and when, I, when I watched uh, Robert's video, Ramble Turning, you know, I, I got the feeling like he was really personalizing this shit. Um, I've had some really good AB control group uh, videos that I that I placed up on both uh, YouTube and TikTok, and saw you know which place the the video would take off and get thousands of views, which place it would get suppressed. And by suppressed, I mean I get a baseline number of views per video, and the video maybe got like seven views total. And those are all the people that I sent the video to personally, you know, or maybe. I posted it in my Discord group, but I have some friends there that'll, you know, give me mercy clicks. Uh, I do have a few videos that I posted on TikTok, and because of the manner in which I was responding to another person on the platform, they got horrible views. Because TikTok uh, doesn't really have a way of uh, telling whether or not you're being mean to somebody when you're replying to people. And so they've kind of just given a blanket band hammer to anything that might possibly be you criticizing something somebody else is saying because it's not about, like, you being wrong or, or banned. You just kind of get, like, shadow banned, suppressed. You know, where, like, the video's still viewable, but they don't promote it because it's all about whether or not people are enjoying themselves on the platform. And if somebody makes a video about you criticizing what you're saying, and it goes out to thousands upon thousands of people, it might not be good for your user base to have that experience. You know? Because it sucks to be corrected. 
it sucks to have someone have a different opinion than you and then thousands of people see this, that somebody disagreed with you. You know, and they're making good points. Heaven forbid, you know. So, I've had a few of my videos uh, suppressed away. I'm not as banned or, or, or having videos removed as uh, Robert or my buddy Ryan. But uh, I, I do sometimes find that there are certain subjects that I touch on that get suppression or uh, not promotion, you know. Maybe the baseline of, of everything I do is between, like, you know, those seven good friends that I that I have or so, and then, like, the up to 100 people who will watch just about anything I put out uh, on YouTube, uh, if it reaches them. And then, you know, the, the difference is if they, if they turn on the promotion aspect of the algorithm, I'll get a couple thousand views, right? And if I'm talking about, say, uh, the Cerveza sickness, and I'll just say it, coronavirus, right? If I if I talk about that, then um, I might get suppressed. You know, it's their platform; they get to pick what what they uh, suppress or not. But they have an algorithm that's translating all of the words that we say. Right, so that they can they can give you a, a nice closed captioning, and they use that closed captioning also to scan through your video, see what the subject is, and then suppress it. So uh, I don't really know what was in Robert's uh, Epstein video, but I I hope that it was uh, very informative, and he says that he's going to redo it, and I'll watch it. You know. Hopefully, it comes up in my subscriptions feed as something that uh, I'm interested in watching, but we'll see. I'll have to, like, make a mental note, because you don't go out to everybody in your subscriptions anymore. Uh, it goes out to a sample of about 100 people, and if enough people click on it, then it goes out to the rest of your subscriptions. So, like, I've got a lot of uh, my videos that don't even reach the people who specifically subscribed to me and didn't ring the little bell. And uh, I think those little push notifications that you get when you ring the little bell, they're fucking annoying, so I don't tell anyone to do that. I don't do it. I don't ring the bell for anyone because I don't feel like receiving push notifications on my phone. So, uh, I'm basically at the mercy of algorithms that are trying to promote... Uh, addictive discourse. I'm not going to call it good discourse. It's just fucking addictive discourse that keeps you on the platform. Because if we start hurting each other's feelings, then uh, less people will keep coming back. Right? That's not so much a, a, of a conspiracy. It, it doesn't, you know, require that I'm personally being targeted. You know, it just is what it is. Uh, it's nothing personal. <sighs> I got some like complex driving to do, so that's the end of this ramble because I, I know my limits as far as talking and driving. <laughs>